We're just gonna go ahead and play through the story chapter and uh, take a look at the banner. Forging bonds. I actually opened it before. Okay, it, it, it is it is reset. Good. I actually opened it before, so I was worried it will miss it out. My sky mission was a success. I'm back to report in. Before I get the details, though, I should tell you there's a huge number of foes incoming. A much greater number than our initial reports indicated. Good work, Farina. Urk, will you mind pulling up your map so we can cover the plan? Yes, our current position is right around here. That's where the valley where we set camp. And where, where, are they, where are the bandits, Farina? I imagine they are taking the route along the river, yes? That's right. They're in this area here, over here. Ah, in this forest as well. Like I said, there are a lot of them. Probably three times as many as we expected. In that's the case, our chances of being surrounded are significant. I have an idea, if you don't mind, Prince Alphonse. Together, the power of Urks and my magic should be sufficient if we can lead our foes into the proper position. We will need to draw the enemy to the ideal place using a decoy. Then we can approach from their rear and quickly dispatch them with a single concentrated assault. Louise, will you play the role of decoy? Of course, it will be my pleasure. Hang on, what are you better suited to be a decoy? With you in the wing, the bandits will be hard pressed to give chase, Farina. If they aren't convinced they'll be able to reach you, they won't cha chase you in earnest. Alright, let's move forward with your plan, Lord Pent. Louise, do be careful out there. Stay safe. I will. You have nothing to worry about. I will treat the situ situation with almost care. Okay. So just a, a pretty basic introduction to b b uh, forging bonds. Um, should I go with this right away? Uh, okay. I guess we'll start with this for right now. Oh, it didn't equip me. Well then, we'll be on our way. I look forward to working with you more in the future. Farewell. So it's Marurk, you're staring. Hmm, oh sorry, it's just that, well, talking to those two gave me a bit of a shock. They're the children of Lord Pentley Louise. It was certainly a surprise to meet their children fully grown and so mature as well. Yes, meet people for your future like that certainly gives Asher a sort of dreamlike quality. And who knows, you might even meet yourself in the future at some point, hee <laughs> hee. Pardon me, but might you be Lord Urk? Me? Lord Urk? I'm not a lord. Have we met? Oh, my apologies, I am Gwyver, Princess of Bird. You're rather famous, even my country. You were called by the people to be a succeed Lord Pen as Major General, yet you refused. It's a great pleasure to meet the Lord Urk who is able to achieve so, so much in the study of magic. You're sure you mean me? <laughs> oh man. See, Pent really likes likes Urk, but Urk, Urk is not confident in his skills. I think he's like the best mage you get in the game. Like he's the the earliest mage you get. And he's a pretty good mage overall too. Well, he's not the, the best mage, but he's the best mage you have for a long time in Blazing Sword. Pent himself is a total beast. <laughs> oh, Lay Louise, it's lovely to see you again after so long. Oh my goodness, is that little green? You've gotten so big. I wish Hawkeye could see you now. I'm sure you'd be overjoyed at that woman you've grown into. Hmm, though perhaps you've all heard the same sentiment from another me already summoned. Indeed I have. I suppose that I ought not refer to you as Lila Green now that you've grown up. Oh no, Lady Louise. Please feel free coming wherever you like. Now I must be going. I will see you later on the train grounds. Amazing. To think Lila Green could would grow into such a, such a woman, and that I can witness it. She was alone. Maybe now's a good chance to catch her. Right, now's a chance. Oh, it's one there. Oh man. In terms of characterization, the 40 bonus bits are kind of the best things around, but it's still. There's just a little bit lacking sometimes.
Karina. Hello, Anna. Ah, uh, George, I hope you're here to tell me sell some quality wares. Drop me the bargains. Actually, I got something a little different for you this time. I was actually you to do... Yes, hello. So this is Anna's. This is Anna's then. Well, this is the Asker branch of the Elias Division, to be specific, but who are you? I'm free of Elias Pegasus Knights, a master merchant at your service. I heard from George the hero that one can sell any kind of thing, any variety of things at Anna's, so I had to see for myself. I like to sell something rather very invaluable, my labor. Your labor, huh? That's right, I would need to work for Anna's during my downtime between training sessions. I'm proficient at escorting important people, transporting goods, you name it, I can do it. Ah, so you want to work my shop then, I see. Sure you could benefit from having a Pegasus Knight and her Pegasus in your employ, but who couldn't? As my pay, well back at leave, I was worth 20,000 gold. If I can cut you to 19,000. Alright, I gotta get back to prepping this shipment of bows and arrows next week. Right, I gotta get one going myself. What, hey, you're just gonna go back to- Hey, you're just going to back- Back- Back to what you're doing as if I'm not even here? I'm offering you the deal of a lifetime. The service of Pegasus Knight and her Pegasus. You pass that up? All women can be Pegasus Knights, you know. Fear is following me, it's hard to man, don't you think? Well, I could use the help, so I'm looking for a tire someone. But, your asking price is a bit steep. <laughs> on top of that, there are Pegasus Knights all over here in Asker. Even some are men, as a matter of fact. What do you say? No way can, um, can a man ride a Pegasus. Who? Is he trying to ruin me? Alright, I see him around. What's his name again? Tsubaki. <laughs> She's gonna go and find Tsubaki, isn't she? Dang! I almost died that one. Please, wait a moment. You seem to know about my future vers a version of me for my future, but... You're saying the people who asked me me a major general? Why me? Well, as I understand, you are the person best suited for the world, Lord Eric. But the major general is the pillar that supports all the majors of Etruria. Lord Pimmel is major general. And I turned down such an honor? Well, why? How could I? I'm sorry, but I can't answer that question for you. Only well, you can understand the choices you'll make. Wow, is that Marvel, Eric? You must grow be a, such an incredible mage in the future. I can't believe it. My future self will incredible. Um, Urk, are you still with me? You're staring at nothing again. So many shock revelations. I don't know how else to react. Okay. So what am I looking at? So I've got all of them except Pen so far. Okay. It's a book. Memory album. Okay. Coin. Lady of Violets. Oh, wow. Louise suffers from the problem that they do with a, with a lot of um, uh, elegant women. Um, uh, they make her too, look, look, look too young and cutesy. Like, they did the same thing with Alincia, they did the same thing with, um, uh, Lattices. There we go, I got one of them. So I got one ticket now. Wait, this music, is this a, actually a book, a book 5 map? It is. Huh. Oh, that's when they're going into... Oh look, Neo's got a cute hat now. Another accessory. Pent finally. Here we are, this is the library. Incredible. Slay books. It's fast. Invite with trove knowledge. Lord Pent, is that you? It's been absolutely ages. My word, Caius. I see you're summoned to ask her too. Indeed I was. I've been here for some time. I say Princess Yorm is with you. Were the male herbs that gave you a fetid princess? Yes, they were. I prepared them as soon as started, and they helped me get some get some sleep. You've been quite a help. I can't help express my gratitude enough. 
My help is free giving, Princess. Our research continues. I will be sure to let you know when it bears fruit. Now, Lord Pint, give it a moment. I got a number of tomes on the magic of nature. You might be interested in pursuing them. My word, can it be? This book fits the description of a lost treatise. Vanished Matruria. What incredible collection. Come work, Canis. Well, I can't take all the credit. In two thirds, another Lord Pint went to ask her. Prince Storm already told me this. He and his Louise are garden and wedding attire. <laughs> yes, yeah, a festival. That's the only place we've met. We discussed these works and he ba bade me show me to the, the Lord, Lord Pint. Stop it! <laughs> My double shows sense. Read me, I, I. Dang it! Stop it! Prince Charm, I do hate to impose, especially as I have only just arrived in Asker, but. I think, barring any emergency, I shall have to seclude myself in this library to pursue a future. <laughs> Be so good as to inform Commander Anne for me. Sorry, certainly. I suppose I'd better inform Lady Louise as well. Oh, man. In order for Lord Pence's plan to be successful, we need to strike a quickly and decisively. Otherwise, both Lady Louise and Prince Alphonse will be in grave danger. Their plan must succeed. Your enthusiasm for his plan is impressive, I must say. We'll be counting on you and Lord Pence to carry out your parts. Indeed, we will both carry out full effort. Right, there's something else I've been wondering. Saying your wife as decoy seems unusual. Is Lord Pence worried about Lady Louise? Of course he is. The reason Lord Pence gave her such an important role is in the plan is due to its unwavering trust in her. Hmm, I see. Even though she's his wife, we look at the situation unclouded as if they were simply comrades. I warn myself how much they really love each other given all that, but I see now I misunderstood. To tell you, to tell you the truth, I should have been the one to play the role of the Queen of Lady Louise. Lord Pent, however, is aware of my experience in situations like this and must know that I am lacking. That is likely the reason he chose not to trust me with the decoy, decoy role. Hmm. Well, the plan is in motion now, so there's no time to concern yourself with that. Just focus on getting the job done. Actually, that's not it. He actually trusts you by his side. That's why he wants you there. Oh, and who's this now? My name is Norn. I am a volunteer from Altea. My name is Faye. I am from Ram Village. We we're hoping to ask you something, Miss Louise. And what is it you hope to ask me? Well, you have some wonderful husband, Lord Pent. We we're hoping you'd tell us how you won his heart. As a fellow archer, I mean. Right, for, fu for future reference. <laughs> Yes, please. Love to hear the story of how you two met, if you want to tell it. I don't mind, but, hmm, where to start? Well, why not start at the beginning? Of your romance, that is. When the two of you first met. Yes, that would be most informative. <laughs> the beginning, hmm? Well, I'm not sure how helpful the story will be to you. And you, you behind the tree there. You're welcome to come close to this as well. Huh, well, me? I wasn't trying to eat off or anything. I just are happening passing by. <laughs> hmm, I like these stories, surely. Well, since you're here after you don't, don't have, have me passing by, why don't you hear her story, Tanya? I suppose I should. To be polite, I mean, if you don't mind, of course, Lady Louise. I was not trouble. Uh, please, but be my guest. I just hope my story be what you three want to hear. <laughs> uh, of course, if it's about ar archers. Female archers, to be, to, to be exact. Although, Faye couldn't even use a bow in the original. <laughs> it's hilarious because Faye couldn't even use a bow in the original, um... Uh, <sighs> in fact, don't we have two versions of Faye that use a bow? I think we have two versions of Faye that use a bow, even though she couldn't use a bow in the original game. Are you right in there, Urk? Don't bother, he's been shoved in that room forever, and there's no sign of him coming out. I told you he's gonna hurt turn to a cave creature if he stayed there in there for longer. Nothing. Ugh, we finally have a chance to meet him again here and ask her, and this is what he does? What is he thinking? I understand if you're worried, but, but I do hope you aren't pushing yourself too hard. Sarah may be annoying, but she may have a point. Maybe I should leave my room a bit more often. But I can't leave things as they are now if I re and become more than time let Major General. I must get a primary focus on my studies. Oh, Urk, out for a walk? Ah, uh, hello, Peony. Urk, the bags in your eyes are huge. He have been sleeping? I suppose I haven't. I suppose I, ha I suppose I haven't. It's just that I just want to learn. I can't waste the time sleeping. Oh no, sleep's too important to ignore. You can't only study. You have to sleep well and eat properly to nourish both your body and mind. Are you still caught up in thinking about that conversation the other day? I am a Penn student. What has hope for me is that I grow to become a successor. It's an intimidating proposition. I fall short in a myriad of ways as I am now. That can't stand. That's why I must keep studying. I see. That's why you've been working hard for your, working yourself so hard. 
But as long as you're here and ask her, I think it'd be fine if you just be yourself as you are, don't, don't you? Be myself? What do you mean by that exactly? We're getting so far ahead in Earth, I want to see the other ones. Especially for the, uh, the tickets, of course. Lord Penn is the eldest son of House Regulator of Etruria. His talents are known far and wide from his youth. I know Lord Penn since I was, I was young, having heard tell of his strong character. I respect him deeply. Were you child friends? As I said, I was young when we met, but the cage of our meeting was somewhat unusual. We were first introduced that Lord Penn was to select his future bride for betrothal. Twenty noble girls of Etruria had been gathered, and I was among those twenty. My fate was not particularly prestigious among compared to many of the others. Choosing between twenty people sounds hard. How am I choosing you? The rest of the candidates are all beautiful women of a tree of nobility, if they rate in their own way. Each demonstrated their talents for a repent, singing, dancing, playing music, reciting poetry. Each they demonstrated skills common to young ladies of the land. I, however, had no particular skill in any, any such craft. Really? But then, why did he end up choosing you, Miss Louise? I held nothing back. I showed Lord Pent my true feelings and told him how I had spent my young life. I told him my skill with a bow, and if you were to choose me, I'd pretend with my love's my life's end. Wow, such a direct approach. When I finished, I went red, and the sounds of girlish laughter rang in my ears. The ladies, their attendants, everyone was laughing at me. Everyone that is, except Lord, Lord Pent, who's only smiled, who only smiled gently. I had never met a girl whose heart was so clear, he said, and he took my hand with, and he took my hand in his. <laughs> Even though I remember it clearly, the with his hand, a thing of like I had descended to heaven. What a great story. Lord Pent saw me for who I am. So I think trying to be seen as you really are is the surest path to having your love be, be returned. Huh. Another pent. Okay. So that's another batch that we that's another uh, thing we can use then. 837, 932, 202, 277. Okay. Ah, that should just be about do for today. I've heard practice even by my standards. Astro's clear, clear skies make for easy flying. I feel like I could stay up there forever. Hey, what's that? The Pegasus hangs with incredible speed. What vigor! Aha! A man flying Pegasus back, huh? Care explain yourself? Don't think you're flowing here, unblemished skin, and dignified stature can fool me! Er, hello? I am Tsubaki, Skynet of Hoshido, and returning to Lord Lady Sakura. And you are? I am free of Ilias Pegasus Knights, a great mercenary and known as the woman worth 2,000 gold. <laughs> It is Pegasus Knights. Ah, uh, is that where Fiora? Fiora's my older sister, and Fiora's my younger sister. <laughs> right, you try a similar look about it in the face, but your purse eyes are quite different. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind, that's beside the point. I know how you, a man, has managed to ride Pegasus. I wish you ride Pegasus. It's supposed to be just uh, us cute girls on Pegasus back. <laughs> You're denying our profession. <laughs> uh, I see. Our brain Pegasus is different from Shido. They don't share a distaste for men. Cute girl, Power Pegasus, that's how it's supposed to be. And you're telling me there are. You are. Ugh! How dare you! <laughs> um, oh, hello, Prince Air. Are you here to do some training as well? <laughs> Air. Okay, interesting. Lord Pent. There we go. Kings, have a look at this passage. Does that bear a striking similar to Neem's work? It does at that. Just like I expected the Mountain Hermit, her theories have proven to be proven to transcend the very worlds. He's something else. No hero has been happier to be shoved in live in this library. Of course, this is Lord Pent, Count Relegate of and Mage General of Etruria. He's a formal scholar. All the majors of the lead know his name. And looks from the looks of it, he's might end up leaving this library. <laughs> as long as done given the way of my reading. <laughs> Lord Pent, Lady Louise wanted to you have this. Thank you, Irk. Please put it down. Over there will do. What a lot of books. Do you tend to read them all? Oh, those? I've already read them. They may be a weight reshelving. You've read them all? You've read them? All of them? That took you months, at least. Right now, I, right now I'm but a student. Yes, it has been too long since I have to, so passionate to devote myself to sphere of inquiry. It may be for me to say this, but Lord Pent, but do not look at your body as you, nour as you nourish your mind. I suppose you're right, and do thank Louise for me. But I can't stop now. There is a puzzle here. Just what is this place? What is Asker? I'm intrigued by him, by him in this, uh, in this one. Right, everyone? Louise has led the enemy to, right to us. Time for us to turn the tails on them. 
We've got us in the bag. They have no idea what they're up against. Uh, more pent? Yes, Orc. We gotta be quick and get to our positions. I should have been the decoy, and yet you were forced to ask Lady Louise for yourself in danger. I'm sorry I came to that, and wanted to let you know I'll work, ha so work hard so it can be me in that role next time. Urk, do I think I passed you over for the role because I find you lacking in some way? Urk, do you think I passed you over for the role because I find you lacking in some way? Will I be wrong to think such a thing? After all, when it comes to combat, I am well. I suppose that I, I suppose that my abilities were not to the level where you felt you could rely on me. Urk, you misunderstand. I asked Louise to be the decoy due to the fact that she is excellent with the bow and has a keen eye. Those skills made Louise our best hope for success. I see, so that's all there is to it. Furthermore, Urk, like Louise, you also have an important role to carry out here with me. In order to plan to succeed, you and I must use our magic and concert and attack as one. Without your aid, this strategy would not be very difficult for me to, me to execute. You can trust that I would not have suggested this course of action if I did not have faith in your ability. Warpent, I don't know what to say. Never mind that. Louise will be here soon. Let's not miss a chance to end this battle before it can begin. Of course, I won't disappoint you. Yeah, basically what I expect. Louise, Louise! Oh my, see you here too, Rebecca? I'm glad to see her well. And you're looking lovely as always. Have you already gotten used to life and ask her? I have, uh, it reminds me. I told Norn, Faye, and Tanya to by Lord Pant at my first meeting. I have told you before too, haven't I? Yes, I remember. It's a wonderful story too. Oh, so that's what happened. That makes sense now. Hmm, what's that man? What's make sense? Well, to tell you the truth, Norn, Norn, Faye, and Tanya have all been fiercely training their bow skills. They've been trying things like. And love in, in battle and skill with the bullet and skill with the bullet counts. <laughs> oh goodness, that's not really what I was hoping to get across to them. Yes, I suppose not. But they are so honest and full of positivity. I'm sure they'll find love in their lives. I'm sure you will too, of course, Rebecca. If you say so, Louise, then I have a faith that will come true. I'll try my best so I can follow your example and share my life and skills of a wonderful gentleman. Hehe, <laughs> I'll be cheering you on all the way. You can count on that. Wow. <laughs> okay. That was our last one, I believe. We're still stuck on Louise! Come on! We're done with Louise! I want someone else! There you go, that, that's Farina. Okay, now she... There, there we go. There we go. Oh, wow! Okay. So guys, a nice 41 awards. Still a long way to go to catch up, but didn't do, do anything useful, but oh well. Uh, we'll go through these. Okay. New power. So I I don't actually have any of these characters now, so I can't really show off their um uh, their upgrades. But yeah, I don't, I don't know when well, I'll be able to get a chance to do that. But well, let's go ahead and uh, pick one out and see if we can get one. Uh, let's go for green. Head is always good. Alright, here's where you use our tickets now. I am not going to pull for it because I don't care that much about, the, about these characters, but I will try and pull for uh, at least Pent, maybe some Louis. We'll, we'll see what we got here. Alright. So, what's their stats, Brid? Okay, 45 HP. Oh wow, so to subtract 17, so he's got 40 attack, 41 speed, no, okay, this, 30 attack, 39 speed, uh, 19 defense, and uh, 30 res, so th that's his stats. Oh, and uh, 40 HP, because uh, this guy has 5 plus, plus 5 HP, too. That, that, those HP skills are kind of awkward. 
So he's got a, a, a nice um, 38, 39 uh, attack and speed. That's very strong for a, a nice maid like that. It's like speed, defense. So that's just it. She's got 37 attack, 42 speed. That's that's really high. Uh, so 39 attack, 42 speed, 36 res. That's a pretty stall size right there. 41 HP. You've got 38 speed. Okay, yeah, so th uh, she doesn't have anything that operates her base stat, so that is... That's only 32 attack. 32 attack, 38 speed, 3 defense, 3 res. She's got nice balanced stats, actually. And Urk should have high speed. He just got straight up 39 speed. That's high for, for a, a red tome, a red infantry with tome. 35 attack, 39 speed, 19 defense, 27 res resistance, 45 HP. So that's their stats, but it's all for really high speed, actually. Yeah, all for at least 39, 39 speed, with uh, Louise being the highest at 42. Okay, now we can go ahead and look at... What, what events we have here? Tap out, right. Okay, we can look at that later, too. Alright. Grab that. 